All right, I am back again. And I'm here to talk about what happened over here. If you can see that. Um, okay, so the day that um, the dermatologist decided to do me this big favor, she told me she was going to fix. As she was going along, she's like, oh, I can fix all this you know, this side of my face. I'm not sure what fix all this meant, but I thought, oh boy, she found something to fix. <laughs> I'm very naive, I'm very trusting, and um, and I guess I'm a little stupid. So I didn't know, I just, I didn't think to question, what are we doing? I just thought, oh good, she's gonna fix something. And um, and what I didn't know was she was fixing what I, I guess, was her interpretation of ugly. And that I must have been ugly in that area or something um, because she thought it needed fixing. And her idea of fixing it was to install implants without telling me. I can't imagine how... I would have reacted if she would have said, I'm about to put an implant in your face. I think, I think I would have ran. I get, or I think I would have, I, I know I would have stopped her. But anyway, there was no mention of the word implant. And when I found out later that that's what it was, uh, chills down the spine doesn't quite describe it. <clears throat> anyway, um, so I have this thing here that she thought would fix she didn't like when I spoke, um, my mouth would go in that direction. And I actually, I have a friend for, named Julie from England, and she had told me a few years back that she liked that about me, and she thought, she, I remember her saying, it suits you. That's what she said to me, it suits me. She's English, so she talks like that. And um, I didn't really know what she meant. Um, but then my dermatologist mentioned it too and she kept telling me don't do that and i was like do what and she said you just keep pulling over here when you talk how do you not do that that's what my face does you know so um she didn't tell me at the front end that that's what she was going to fix it was after she already had the syringe out and she was like making having me make faces like that and stuff and um she was like talk and i'd talk and then she'd go okay and she'd do more and now i've got this gigantic glob because she didn't like the way my face went in that direction so now she's basically glued it into place i still um can as you can see my face still does what it does but now it's extremely grossly uncomfortable because they're is glue in the way there are implants in the way of um my face's natural expression which i didn't see anything wrong with and i i don't think that there should be a medical cure for a facial expression and i don't think I, it should be up to a doctor to decide that something like that needs to occur without fully consulting with the patient, without consulting at all, without saying, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I mean, it was a vague, oh, hey, hold still, I'll fix that. Fix what? Fix my face? It wasn't broken. Okay, maybe I had a facial expression that she didn't like to look at that didn't give her license to install gel into my face to prevent me from being able to comfortably make that expression. How often do I see my dermatologist anyway? Is it really such a big deal to her that I'm walking around? Maybe other people, I mean, my friend Julie liked that my face did that. Now my face does it anyway, and it looks messed up because it's got this gigantic V, and it looks like I'm from the planet Voltron. <laughs> I want my face back. I don't care if it annoyed people to watch me talk. I want it back. And that's what I'm waiting for. And that's what I don't know how long I'm waiting for. And it's not the only place she put it. She put she I guess she decided 
I, I don't know what her thinking was. She didn't share any thoughts with me whatsoever on this, but for some reason she then injected over here, which I thought, oh, maybe she's trying to even things out. She put crap in my nose. In certain lighting, you can tell she put it here. Why? I don't know. Did she decide that my nose was uneven or something? I don't, now it is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little frustrating. I don't know if she understood that this stuff formed implants. Um, after it happened, when I told her my face looked different, horrible, because my cheeks were gone, my face was like flat, because she flattened it out by putting these pegs this way in my face. Um, uh, she said, don't worry, just wait a couple days. And then when it didn't go away in a couple days, she said, wait a couple weeks. Then when it didn't go away in a couple weeks, she said three months, three months turned to six months, six months turned to 18 months, which turned to now she shrugs and says she has no idea when it's going to go away or if. I asked her if I my face is permanently... So now she took what was a little twitch at the side of my mouth, has essentially glued it up to the side of my nose so that when I move like this, it moves my skin all the way up to my nose area. I asked her, is that permanent now? She said she doesn't know. So she made an alteration to my face that she admits that she doesn't know if she's permanently changed it and she took what was a little twitch and now has made it like a whole side of my face because she glued all my skin together. She was I think trying to glue it down so that it wouldn't move. I think that's what she was trying to do. I don't know what she was trying to do. She's bizarre. Trying to talk to her is... she doesn't make sense. And she's, I can't believe I ever trusted this woman to do anything on me. I went to her for normal dermatological reasons. <sighs> Guess I'm lucky I never went blind <laughs> from anything she did. So, um, she just injected away. She has a lot of syringes. Um, and, uh, razors and cauterizers and all kinds of tools anyway um, so that this whole thing here which hurts and is uncomfortable was to fix a twitch that gave me no discomfort at all and I didn't mind it and I was told was characteristic of me so she basically tried to glue down one of my characteristics messed me all up and uh, that's where I'm at now so We'll see how long it takes, and whether anyone likes it or not, I'm going to probably keep up the YouTube channel until it's all gone.